Welcome back to Dariv Strategies Tested, the channel where we dive deep into the world of trading and put YouTube's most popular strategies to the ultimate test. Today, we're back with part two of our explosive journey, continuing from where we left off in our last video. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend you click the link in the description to catch up on the excitement. In our previous video, we explored a boom and crash trading strategy that had us all on the edge of our seats. But we didn't stop there. I promised you an update if I discovered a way to make this strategy even more profitable. And guess what? That's exactly why we're here today. Prepare to witness the secrets unfold before your eyes. Not only will I reveal how to maximize the profit potential of this strategy, but I'll also be tackling the burning questions that have been flooding the comments section. You spoke, and I listened. Today, I'm going to address some of the most common queries head-on. Wondering about the ideal lot size for each trade? Curious about the ins and outs of the stop-loss situation on boom and crash? Well, my friend, prepare to have all your doubts shattered and your questions answered in exquisite detail. I know in our last video, I had to keep things brief to keep you hooked, but this time, I'm determined to leave no stone unturned. So grab a pen and paper because we're diving deep into the mechanics of this strategy, ensuring you walk away with a crystal clear understanding and no lingering doubts. All right, enough talk. It's time to unleash the full power of our updated boom and crash trading strategy. Before we dive into the updated version of this strategy, Let's take a quick moment to revisit a trade example from part one of our video, just to refresh your memory on what we'll be improving upon. In that example, we began by analyzing the one hour time frame and checking if the price was below the four lines for boom trading or the opposite for crash trading. Once that condition was met, we switched to the entry time frame, which was the one minute chart. On the entry time frame, we patiently waited for the blue line to cross below the three orange lines, signaling an entry point for the trade. We set our target at a 1 to 3 ratio, aiming for a three times larger profit compared to our initial risk. To protect ourselves, we placed a stop loss just above the crossover point. This strategy proved to be profitable when backtested multiple times, but I sense there was room for improvement, which brings us to the purpose of this video. So what are these exciting changes I keep mentioning? The first major change I made was transitioning from the 1 hour time frame to the 15 minute time frame. Why? Because the lower time frame provides more detailed information about the short term trend. Since each trade I take will only last, on average, for two 15 minute candles, understanding the short term trend becomes crucial. So if you're looking to initiate a buy trade on the crash market, your first step would be to check if the market is above the four lines on the 15-minute chart. Once that condition is satisfied, we move on to the entry time frame. Here's where the second update comes into play. Instead of targeting a 1 to 3 ratio as we did before, I've decided to aim for a more ambitious 1 to 6 ratio. This means that with this updated approach, we have the potential to cover any losses incurred by a spike in the market with just the next trade. Now, let's address a scenario where our trade hits the stop loss. To illustrate this, let's imagine we've just opened our MetaTrader platform and spotted a promising trade opportunity. In this example, we can see that the blue line has just crossed the three orange lines, indicating a signal to enter the trade. We place our stop loss just below the crossover point and set our target at a 1 to 6 risk to reward ratio. But how do we determine the appropriate stop loss level? That's where the position size calculator comes into play, which you can find linked in the description. With this tool, you simply input the current price at the entry point, the stop loss price, just below the crossover, and the desired lot size. For instance, if you choose the lowest possible position size of 0.2, your risk on this particular trade would be 51 cents. However, let's assume you have a $100 account and want to risk $2. In that case, you would increase the lot size until the amount at risk matches your desired level. In my case, I would need to use a lot size of 0.8. However, as fate would have it, this particular trade didn't go as planned, and a sudden spike caught us off guard, triggering our stop loss. So if we revisit the position size calculator and update the stop loss price with the price at which the spike ended, we find that we ended up losing $12.28. This is precisely why I target a 1 to 6 risk to reward ratio. 
By aiming for a larger reward relative to our risk, we can cover the losses from one unfavorable trade with just a single successful trade. That wraps up the core mechanics of this strategy. To provide further clarity and evidence of its effectiveness, I will be taking every trade signal that occurred on June 13th and sharing the results with you. Instead of relying solely on a back test of 100 trades, I want to ensure you can clearly see each trade I take without any fast forwarding. As always, we'll start on the 15-minute time frame, focusing specifically on the price action between these two vertical lines, which represent June 13th for me. Remember, we only look for trades when the price is above the four lines, and these boxes help me identify those instances on the one-minute time frame. Now let's jump right into the exciting world of trading. I'll be using a $100 account, risking 2% per trade, and it's time to put this strategy to the test with real trade examples from June 13th. Get ready to witness the power of this approach and witness the results firsthand. Let's dive in. By the end of the day, I achieved an impressive profit of $130, starting with a $100 balance. That means I managed to double my account in just one day. Despite being caught by occasional spikes, we were able to recover from losses in just one or two subsequent trades. These results are undeniably impressive, and you may feel tempted to replicate them. However, it's important to remember that you won't be able to dedicate 24 hours to monitoring the charts, 
so don't expect identical outcomes. My advice to anyone interested in utilizing this strategy is to focus on aiming for a single winning trade per day instead of attempting to take as many trades as possible. Achieving a single profitable trade on its own is a significant accomplishment and can generate substantial profits. That wraps up today's video. Remember, greed has no place in trading. Approach the markets with a mindset of discipline and careful decision-making. Don't let the allure of quick gains cloud your judgment. Successful trading requires patience, strategy, and a rational approach. Thank you for joining me on this exhilarating trading journey. I hope you found this video insightful and empowering. If you have any questions or want further clarification, please leave them in the comments section below. Stay focused, stay disciplined, and may your trading endeavors be prosperous. Until next time, happy trading.